to Cooking with Sarah. It is Labor Day weekend here in the States, and that means we get a long weekend, so we celebrate it by cooking stuff outside. We do burgers, fried, hot, or fried stuff on sticks, hot dogs, uh, barbecue, and what we're going to be doing today is a little bit of chili. This is uh, my secret recipe. Now, um, let me get back in first person and get my hot bar back. Now, there is a recipe in Harvest Craft for chili, um, but to be honest with you, it's pretty weak chili. Um, you know, he had bean, a couple of vegetables, a steak. Oh, this one even has a chili pepper in it. Ooh. So, you know what? Um, you can make this if you want your weak wolf brand chili out of a can. Um, but we're not going to do that today. No, today we're going to do this the right way. So let me, I've got my hot pot going here over a blob of hot lava. Let's see, the first thing we want to start off with, let me start getting some stuff into my hot bar here. There we go. All right, first of all, let's put in some bacon. Uh, throw some of it on the floor, that's okay. There we go. Let's fry up some nice thick cut applewood bacon. And just leave the bacon and the drippings in the pot. Uh, if your bacon turns out to be a little dry, or even if it doesn't, throw in some butter too. Pork fat's great, so is milk fat. Uh, next thing you want to add is a little bit of, well, about a little bit, <laughs> how about about two pounds of browned uh, chili meat, that's the coarse ground stuff, or you can use stew beef, or however you want to do it, just put all that in there. And you know what, where's that, um, I don't have any mutton. Sometimes I like to put in a little bit of lamb, let me just, um, oh, I'm still creative, that's not good, there we go. Let's see, where'd that lamb go? I can put this away. Let's just, whoops, get back in there. Come on, lamb. There you go. All right, while that's sizzling up, go ahead and rough chop some onions. Throw that in there. Lots of garlic. And some chili peppers. Now, this is personal preference. Um, if you're kind of a wimpy, just go ahead and put in a banana pepper, some Anaheim chilies. Uh, of course, you want to put in some anchos for you know, good chili flavor, chipotle. Uh, those of us who like real chili, we'll put in some serranos, uh, put in some uh, habaneros. Oops. Did I lose all my peppers? Okay. Uh, there's probably some uh, South American Insanity peppers in there somewhere. Uh, go ahead and put in some bell peppers, just for flavor. And if you like, you can roast your peppers first. Gives them a better flavor. Uh, add some herbs and spices. Um, I can't exactly tell you what this is, because then I'd have to kill you. There we go. And a little bit of tomato. Okay. Now let that all kind of simmer up for a second before you add in your liquid. I get all this out of my hot bar. And let's move on to, whoops, go back here. Okay. Get, get the stuff back in order. There we go. Okay. Now add a little bit of seasoning. Um, let's see. Some salt. Let's get dark. <laughs> uh, a pinch of sugar. Brown sugar is better, but we don't really have that, so we'll just use what we have. A um, little bit of black pepper. And then we want to add some liquid so we can get this simmering real good. Um, a little bit of tomato, tomato broth. And I like to put beer in my chili. Let's just flop that in there. Usually I'll use a Shinerbach. I've used Guinness before. It turns out great. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm from Texas. There are people here who would string me up for this, but I like to put beans in my chili because I'm cheap and I like my chili to last longer. And you can make a bigger batch of chili with less meat that way. And you know, they're they're good for you too. A little bit of fiber. And let's see what else. Oh, um just a couple of spoonfuls of creamy peanut butter. There we go. You'll never even know it's there. 
but it's so good. Um, now we get, uh, let's see, um, these little special spicy... There's the uh, ghost chili powder there. And just one tiny drop of my special hot sauce. Maybe another drop. Maybe a few more drops. Okay. Ooh, looking good. All right. Uh, we will just... Oh, I uh, almost forgot. Let's put that away for now. And we're going to let that simmer for about two hours. And we will come back and finish it off. I'll be back in a second. Okay, here we go. Now... Oh, that smells good. Ooh, yum. Now, to thicken up your chili... All, people use all kinds of different stuff. Um, they'll use f masa flour. They'll use just regular flour. They use cornstarch. They'll use a roux. Um, personally, uh, my dad used cracker meal. Personally, I like to use mashed potatoes. And instant work fine for this. But if I have just, you know, some leftover real mashed potatoes laying around, I throw a couple spoonfuls of those in too. There we go. All right, now let's give this a little stir here um, with this fancy, fancy spoon here. There we go. Mm. Yum, yum. Oh yeah, let's get over here and... Mm, boy, that... What's that noise? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! chili. A pot, a steak, a chili pepper, some beans, a mixing bowl. <sighs> Put it in your face. From all of us here at Cooking with Sarah, happy Labor Day if you're merkin. If you're not merkin, happy weekend. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>